Not sure which DLC weapons you should be using or where to find them? Well, wonder no more. Today we're going to be counting down the top 10 best DLC weapons in the Hunter Call of the Wild right now. Now let me know in the comments what is your favorite DLC weapon and somewhere in the video I am going to share a key phrase. Drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel and we're going to dive right into it. Coming in at number 10 on our list of top 10 best DLC weapons in Call of the Wild is the only bow that actually allows you to take a shot while prone without the like a pro bow perk. So it reads here, unlocks the ability to enter a mode with a bow while prone. But with this bow, you do not need it. And the bow is none other than the CB-165, otherwise known as the crossbow. Now this bow comes with three different variations. Not that it matters a whole lot anymore now that we can customize all of our weapons. Where did my moose go? There he is. This is also the only bow that has an adjustable scope. Now this bow zeroes in at 20, 40, and 60 meters. And the crossbow comes comes in weapon pack one. I don't have the best of angles here, but I'm gonna go for it. Now, one thing is for sure, the 600 grains are crazy powerful. We got him! Definitely got him. So this bow is very powerful. Look at that. <laughs> absolutely sliced him in half. We got stomach, liver, right lung, and scapula from exactly 40.8 meters. So it has an accuracy of 45, a recoil of 35, a reload speed of 20, hip shot of zero, and its peak draw weight is 165 pounds. Coming in at number nine on our list of top 10 best DLC weapons in Call of the Wild is a weapon that has been really popular since the day it came out. This weapon will leave you in a cloud of smoke wondering if you made your shot. Yes, it is none other than the Hudzik Caplock muzzle loader. And it comes in the smoke and barrels weapon pack. So the muzzle loader zeroes in at 100, 150, and 200 meters. It comes with this very sweet scope, and it does take about a year and a half to reload. Well, not quite, but it does take a very long time. So if you are looking for a follow up shot, what you wanna do is cycle over to another weapon and reload the muzzle loader later. All right, we're gonna take this white tail down. Add splat. So I am not going to edit the reload animation whatsoever. We're just going to let it play through so you can see exactly how long it takes for the muzzle loader to reload. And it's still going. <laughs> it's going to go for quite a while. Still working on it. We're just about done. And now we are done. I don't think there is another weapon in the game that takes as long to reload, but it is a super fun weapon and we have a floater. Now the two ammos for the muzzle loader are the 50 caliber mini balls and the 50 caliber round balls. And between the two different ammos, the muzzle loader is good from classes three to eight. And here's our white tail. And we got a double lung shot. It literally went right through this white tail and out the other side of the second lung. <laughs> From 183.54 meters, the muzzle loader is not a super efficient weapon with only one shot, but it is definitely a lot of fun. It has an accuracy of 25, a recoil of 70, a reload speed of 5, and a hip shot of 15, and it just has the one shot. It weighs 4 kilograms. Coming in at number 8 on our list of top 10 best DLC weapons in Call of the Wild is a very versatile weapon that is good from classes 3 all the way up to 8. It is none other than the Mirage. Model 1894 Lever Action Rifle, and it comes in the Ambusher DLC. Now, it is perfect for animals like Pronghorn that are class 3. Having a weapon that goes from 3 all the way up to 8 is very, very handy. Now, the one drawback to the Marathi is that it only zeroes in at 50, 100, and 150 meters. If this weapon zeroed all the way to 300 meters, I probably would never put it down. It has absolutely crazy penetration, it might have the best penetration of any weapon in the game. It's definitely a contender. And it has six shots. Okay. 
and splat. So right now I am using the 44 flat nose hard cast bullets, which have a penetration of 70. So the Marathi would come in very handy on maps like Te Awaroa, maps that have a lot of class three species. And we got a double lung shot from 156 meters and look at the crazy penetration. It literally went right through this pronghorn and out the other side, crazy. It has an accuracy of 80, a recoil of 43, a reload speed of 57, and a hip shot of 76, and it does have six shots, and weighs three kilograms. Coming in at number seven on our list of top 10 best DLC weapons in Call of the Wild is my absolute favorite shotgun in the game. It comes in the high caliber weapon pack, has four shots, and I just absolutely love this shotgun. I find it way easier to make my shots when I use it. It is none other than the 10 gauge Strandberg. So you can use birdshot, buckshot, and slugs with the Strandberg. There is one shotgun in the game, one DLC shotgun that has more shots and that is the Kuso. And that is another really awesome shotgun, but I just really love the Strandberg. Where did that pheasant go? Ooh, we found a big track. We need to find this pheasant. Oh, there they are. Now I just find that when I am using the Strandberg, I will land my shot more often than when I am using any other shotgun. Okay, fly dude, you can do it. And splat, and splat. And triple splat. And we did all right. That's one. So it really doesn't take too long to reload. And when you use one shot and you want to reload, it only reloads that one shot, making the reload time much shorter. And there is our mail. Beautiful. Look at that. He didn't stand a chance. But if you have never used the Strandberg, I definitely highly recommend that you go for a hunt with it. It is absolutely amazing. It has an accuracy of 30, a recoil of 82, a reload speed of 25, and a hip shot of 88, and does have the four shots. It weighs three and a half kilograms. Coming in at number six on our list of top 10 best DLC weapons in Call of the Wild is the weapon that came with the Sundar Patan map, and that would be the Gand Hair Rifle. Now the Gand Hair, when it first came out, was good from classes four to eight, but with the last update, it is now good for classes four to nine, making it highly versatile. So with the Gand Hair, it has its own built-in scope. Now to pop that scope up on PC, you just click down on the mouse wheel. So it zeroes in at 75, 150, and 250 meters. And it is very powerful. Now it only has the one shot. You better take a good one. And we got them already down. So this is a lot of fun to use. Love the gand hair. Okay, here is our buffalo. So there we go. We got double lung from 131 meters. So it has pretty great penetration. Not quite as good as the Marathi, but definitely does pack a punch. So if you have never used the gand hair, I do highly recommend it. It is a lot of fun to hunt with. It has an accuracy of 30, a recoil of 70, a reload speed of 70, and a hip shot of 15 and just has the one shot. It weighs four and a half kilograms, so it is fairly heavy, but it is super fun to use. Coming in at number five on our list of top 10 best DLC weapons in Call of the Wild is good for only class one species. Now the rifle I am referring to is the Virant 22 LR. Now the Virant 22 comes in weapon pack one. Now the beautiful thing about it is that it has 10 shots. There is a another 22 in the game that is the Zarza 22 and it only has five shots and that is why I have selected the Virant over the Zarza 22. Now whenever I am hunting for class one species I always bring the 10 gauge Strandberg and the Virant 22 and when they get out of shotgun range then I pull out the Virant and use it for the longer range shots. Now the Virant zeroes in at 50, 100, and 150 meters. You definitely can take shots further than that just got to practice at where to aim. And Splat will take a few. Why not? We'll take them all. I take the Virant 22 to just about every map that I hunt on. And if I am using a loadout that I can't fit a shotgun into, I will take the Virant over the shotgun just because it is more versatile. You can get those longer range shots with it when the shotgun just doesn't reach that far. It has an accuracy of 100, a recoil of 10, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 86, and does have 10 shots. 
Coming in at number four on our list of DLC weapons in Call of the Wild is actually a tie between three incredible class four to eight rifles. These three rifles are the M1, the 30 odd six, and the FL Sporter 303. They are all very similar performing. They will all do an amazing job when you are hunting anything class four to eight or when you are doing a grind. This here is the M1. Now the M1 is known for that special sound it makes when you do take the last shot. So I'm gonna take a couple white tail down and I will show you that sound. So they all zero in at 75, 150 and 300 meters. Lay down my dude. Didn't get the first one. And there's the ping. Okay, here is our white tail. So there's the shot. Oh, they were quite a bit further away than I realized, but it does have really great penetration. The M1 will definitely not steer you wrong. I think a lot of the reason that people don't use it as much as they used to is just because we have so many different weapon options now. I shot thousands of whitetail with the M1. It has an accuracy of 35, a recoil of 82, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 50, and it does have five shots. And I should mention that the M1 comes in the Smoke and Barrels weapon pack. So now this here is the Eckers 30-06. Now the 30-06 comes in weapon pack 3. Now I absolutely love the sound that the 30-06 makes. Uh, let's use it right now. And splat. Okay, here is one of our white tail, and we did get a double lung, so it has pretty great penetration. It's going to perform very similarly to the other class 4 to 8 rifles. There's just not a big difference between them. It has an accuracy of 35, a recoil of 80, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 50, and has four shots. Now it actually weighs four and a half kilograms, which is a full kilogram heavier than the other class 4 to 8 rifles. So now we have the FL Sporter 303, and I really like the 303. Maybe it's that I just used the M1 for a very long time and I'm ready for a change, but the 303 does an absolutely amazing job on any grind. My favorite class 4 to 8 rifle is the Zarza 308, which is going to be on today's list, and the 303 is probably my second favorite class 4 to 8 rifle. Let's see if this white tail will turn for us. Good man! But I just enjoy the way it handles. It does a great job, has great penetration. We got a single lung there because of the angle, and that was from 158 meters. It has an accuracy of 55, a recoil of 64, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 67, and it does have five shots. Coming in at number three on our list of top 10 best DLC weapons in Call of the Wild is the 7mm Malmer. Now the 7mm is highly versatile because it is good for classes 4 all the way up to 9. And it has three shots, whereas the 7mm non-DLC rifle only has the one shot and then has to reload. So just taking the 7mm Malmer with you eliminates the need to carry both a class 4 to 8 rifle and a class 7 to 9 rifle. So it definitely helps you to condense your loadout. Now, I'm not a huge fan of all of the bolt actions because with the follow-up shot, there is a little bit of extra added recoil. Now watch, right after I take the first shot, you're going to see a little jolt before I go to take the second. Here we go. See the little jump jump? Let me show you that again. So here's the first shot. It just does a little janky jank after the shot. And I don't love that. It kind of drives me crazy, but maybe that's just me. Now, I wouldn't recommend the 7 mil Malmer for doing a grind. It only has three shots. You're definitely going to be better off using a rifle that has five because not every shot we take is perfect. And because of that extra little bit of recoil, you'll never find me grinding with the 7 mil Malmer. But taking it for a trophy hunt, absolutely. Most of the time when I am trophy hunting, I am only shooting one animal and then the 7 mil Malmer is absolutely perfect for the job. So it is strong. We got a double lung shot there from 173 meters and we are using the polymers. I always use the polymers when given the choice. 
Seven mil Malmer comes in the Hunter Power Pack. Here it is in the store. It has an accuracy of 35, a recoil of 85, a reload speed of 40, and a hip shot of 25. And again, it has the three shots. Coming in at number two on our list of top 10 best DLC weapons in Call of the Wild is a weapon that I use just about every day. This weapon belongs in all of my loadouts. This is the weapon that I grind with most of the time, and it is none other than the Zarza 308. Now the Zarza 308 comes in the Modern Rifles DLC. It is going to perform very similarly to the rest of the class 4 to 8 rifles that are on today's list, like the 30 odd 6, the M1, and the 303. But the Zarza 308 is just a little bit quieter, and I just enjoy using it a little bit more. There's not a night and day difference between these rifles, to be very honest, but here, let's shoot a couple fallow and you can see how much quieter it is than the others. Beautiful. Now, when I watch other streamers, everyone, when they are grinding, is always using the Zarza 308. It is definitely the most popular class 4 to 8 rifle. If it is yours, let me know in the comments why. It has an accuracy of 45, a recoil of 75, a reload speed of 59, and a hip shot of 50, and it does have the five shots, and it weighs three and a half kilograms. And the 308 comes in the Modern Rifles DLC. Coming in at number one on our list of top 10 best DLC weapons in Call of the Wild is my absolute favorite weapon in the game. It comes in the high caliber weapon pack and it is the Arzina 300. This is it right here. So the Arzina 300 is good from classes seven to nine. When you pair it with three points in recoil management, it almost has no recoil. It definitely has the least recoil of any other weapon that I have ever used in this game. And it is super powerful. Now my favorite weapon used to be the 300 Magnum until the Arzina came out, and we are going to fire it as well. Now, if they never did add the Arzina to the game, the number one weapon slot today would still be the 300 Magnum. But now that we do have it, the Arzina outshines the 300 Magnum, and I'll tell you why. This is the 300 Magnum. It has four shots, and the Arzina has five. The other major thing is that you can just purchase the high caliber weapon pack and grab your Arzina and start shooting. But with the 300 Magnum, you have to purchase the Yukon Valley DLC, and then you have to pay 75,000 in-game dollars, and you do have to unlock it as a new player. So the Arzina is way more accessible for new players. Now let's fire it. Double heart shot, baby. That was sweet. Okay. So we got a left long and heart shot from 142 meters. And as you know, moose are tanks in this game, but not for the Arzina. I always use it when I am doing a moose grind. It just does the absolute best job of any weapon in the game on moose and any of those class seven to nine species. Okay, let's shoot a couple moose with the 300 Magnum. Now I know we are on number one right now, but I do have some honorable mentions as well. So definitely stick around for that. You have some moose. Okay, now because the Arzina is an AR, sometimes I get the 308 and the 300 confused because they sound pretty much the same, but that is definitely not the case with the 300 Magnum. Now I do absolutely love the sound and the feeling that you get from shooting the 300 Magnum. It just feels crazy powerful. So here's the 300 Magnum. Sounds and feels like you're shooting off a cannon. Okay, so this is the 300 Magnum. We got one lung. It is very tough to get a double lung with the 300 Magnum. It is tough with the Arzina as well, but sometimes you can get a double lung with the Arzina. So the biggest differences between them are the one extra shot and the crazy lack of recoil with the Arzina 300. It has an accuracy of 90, a recoil of 75, a reload speed of 59, and a hip shot of 50, and it does have five shots and weight weighs four kilograms. 
Okay, so I have two weapons that I would like to show you as an honorable mention. The first is the Vasquez Cyclone Air Rifle. Now the Air Rifle comes in Weapon Pack 3. It is good for classes 2 to 4 and it has 7 shots. It is so quiet, it is just like using a bow, but from a further distance. So basically, with a little bit of patience, you can take out every animal in the herd. So you want to take the first one down. Got them. Takes them a little bit to drop. The other animals will go alert. So what you want to do is wait until they are calm again and take them out one by one until there are none left. And that is an amazing way to make a big stack of cash. It's definitely one of the most underrated weapons in the game. Now the next honorable mention weapon that I am going to recommend that you definitely try out is the Stenberg Takedown Recurve Bow. Now what I love the most about this bow is that it only weighs two kilograms kilograms so it fits very well into most loadouts. Most bows weigh at least twice that and you can use it with and without a scope. Now it comes with the Ambusher DLC. It's not as strong as other bows. If I was going on a bows only hunt, just hunting with bows, I probably would not grab the Stenberg Takedown Recurve Bow. But if I'm just looking to carry a bow with me, just in case I need it, I would definitely grab the Stenberg. All right, I'm gonna try for a heart shot here. We're zero to 40 meters. All right, here we go. I missed the heart. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> I did not. Might as well try and take that one too. And I got him. Beautiful. So it definitely stands up well to moose and moose are tanks. And we got a heart, liver, and stomach. And look at that penetration. So it really is a pretty great bow. So there you have it, guys. Those are the best DLC weapons in the game. Let me know what your favorite is down below. And if you did enjoy the video, splat that like button. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, click right here to keep watching.